Hello, this is Mike Perkins with Build STC. Wanted to talk for just a minute about the age of our current school facilities. Our buildings have served us well, but I think it's important to uh, to think back about some of the times that they were built in. So I'm going to start with the middle school auditorium and small gym. Those were built in 1924. So in 1924, the average cost of a new house was $7,720. Average wages per year, $2,196. In that year, J. Edgar Hoover joined the FBI. The first Winter Olympics were held. The first Macy's Thanksgiving Parade was held in New York City. And a company you may be familiar with, IBM, was founded. Also, some notable folks that were born in that year, 1924, Jimmy Carter, Lee Iacocca, Doris Day, and Marlon Brando. If you're into music, the uh, music charts were dominated in 1924 by Ira and George Gershwin and Irvin Berlin. Oh, one more note. In 1926, just two years later, Queen Elizabeth was born. Also, that year showed or, or had the creation of frozen food. Now, if we move forward to 1950, that was the year that the high school gymnasium, band, and construction lab classrooms were built. The average cost of a new house was $8,450, and the average wages per year were $3,210. This was the year that the Korean War started, the first credit card was issued, and the McCarthy hearings began in the U.S. Senate. James Dean also got his big break when he appeared in a Pepsi commercial. One of the most popular films of that year was Cinderella, and a popular song was Goodnight Irene by Gordon Jenkins and his orchestra. Some notable folks that were born in 1950, Tom Petty, Stevie Wonder, and Jay Leno. This was also year, the year that the first remote control hit the market. Now we move to 1957. This was the year that the oldest part of the elementary school building was built. The average cost of a new house was $12,220, and the average yearly wages was $4,550. In 1957, we saw the first Frisbee appear, the final I Love Lucy, and the show American Bandstand debuted. Elvis Presley purchased a mansion in Memphis, Tennessee, and would grow to call it Graceland. Popular films of 1957 included The Ten Commandments, Jailhouse Rock by Elvis Presley, and The Bridge on the River Kwai. One of the more popular songs that year, All Shook Up by, again, Elvis Presley. One of the most popular books, you may have heard of this one, The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. Also born this year, Donny Osmond and Gloria Estefan. The last building I wanted to discuss was the high school, which was built in 1963. The average cost of a new house was $12,650, and the average income per year was $5,807. 1963, the year John F. Kennedy was assassinated, and Beatlemania started. Also, the zip code was introduced. Some pop culture items from 1963 was the beginning of the smiley face logo that was created and gained some mass exposure that year. Also, the Beatles released their first album, Please Please Me. The first episode of the BBC television series Doctor Who was broadcast. Some pop popular films from 1963, Cleopatra, Mutiny on the Bounty, and To Kill a Mockingbird. Popular musicians of that year, the Beatles, Roy Orbison, Buddy Holly. One of the most popular songs of the year was The Sugar Shack by Jimmy Gilmore and the Fireballs. And lastly, some popular TV programs from 1963, The Andy Griffith Show, The Flintstones, and The Dick Van Dyke Show. You know, when I think about the historical events included in this video, words like classic, nostalgic, and vintage come to mind. These are not the words I like using when I talk about our school buildings. Many districts that border St. Clairsville have already built new buildings for their students. Passing this levy will leave a lasting legacy for the children of our community. We have the opportunity to pay it forward. Previous generations made it happen. Now it's our turn to provide schools in our community to last for generations to come, replacing and renovating school buildings that are dated. Thank you.